Hello students, now we go through the second approach to point series solution when the given point is not an ordinary point even a regular singular point. So uh, here we take a regular singular point as special point which is x is equals to 0. In case, uh, in that case we go uh, through a method which is known as Frobenius method. It gives us a series solution about x is equals to 0 which is a regular singular point. In the case when we have other than 0, suppose x equals to a, in that case first we shift origin to the point x equals to a and after that we can apply Frobenius method. So in, in the case when x is equals to 0 is a regular singular point and this is an ordinary differential equation for which we are to find a series solution, let's assume that y is equals to x is to power k summation m is equals to 0 to infinity cm x is to power m is a series solution. This Frobenius method suggests that the series solution will be in the form of x is to power k summation m raised to power uh, summation m 0 to infinity cm x is to power m, m where c0 is non zero. Now from here we will differentiate y with respect to s twice and putting the value of y y prime and y double prime in given equation we get an identity now equating to zero the coefficient of the smallest power of x in the equation obtained in step second so after putting the value of y y prime and y double prime in this equation we get an equation and uh, in this equation we are to equate the coefficient uh, equals to 0 and the coefficient of which term the coefficient of the smallest power of x the coefficient of smallest power of x and uh, equating that coefficient equals to 0 we get an quadratic equation when we equate coefficient of the smallest power of x equals to 0 we get an quadratic equation in terms of k now this quadratic equation is called initial equation now we'll find the root of this initial equation. It means y will find the value of roots of k, suppose k1 and k2. And uh, on the basis of the value of this k1, k2, we decide four cases. And we discuss one by one case through example. So uh, when the, the first case is when roots are unequal. The roots of initial equation are unequal and not differing by integer. It means their difference is not an integer. Both k1 and k2 are not same. k1 not equals to k2 and the also k1 minus k2 is not an integer. The first case is this one. The second possible case is that the roots are equal. Third possible case is the roots k1 and k2 are not equal, unequal, but they are differing by integer. Third and fourth case, in both cases the condition is same. The roots are unequal and they are differing by integer but the difference is that the coefficient of y becomes indeterminate in one case and in second case the coefficient of y become infinite infinity so uh, the, we will discuss these four cases one by one through example and after uh, finding uh, any one case we will find the recurrence relation between c and put the value of c in assumed solution so first we go through an example which satisfies this first case in which k1 and k2 are not equal whereas the, uh, the difference of k1 and k2 is also not an integer. So we are to solve this series which is we are to solve this ordinary differential equation in series form. The differential equation is 9x 1 minus x y double prime minus 12 y prime plus 4 y is equals to 0. First we uh, write it in a standard form which is y double prime minus 12 upon 9x 1 minus x y prime plus 4 upon 9x 1 minus x y is equals to 0. From here we get x is equals to 0 is a regular singular point. So here we go through some, we go through Frobenius method. So According to Frobenius method, we assume y is equals to summation m vary from 0 to infinity cm x to power k plus m. 
is a series solution where c naught is non zero so now we will differentiate this y with respect to x so we get y prime y prime is m is equals to 0 to infinity cm x is to power k plus m minus 1 into k plus m further we differentiate this with respect to x we get y double prime which is also summation m vary from 0 to infinity cm k plus m k plus m minus 1 into x is to power k plus m minus 2 now I'll put the value of y y prime and y double prime in given equation equation is 9x 1 minus x y double prime so we'll put this term here in place of y prime and this is y prime so we'll put y prime here and this is y so after putting y y prime and y double prime here we get There are two terms, one is n 9x and second is minus 9x square. When we multiply this 9x and 9x square, this summation we, from here we get two series. This one is third series and this is fourth series. So first we multiply this expression with 9x. So we get 9 k plus m k plus m minus 1 cm x is to power k plus m minus 2 plus 1 it means k plus m minus 1 further x square multiply with x is to power k plus m minus 2 it gives us x is to power k plus m it contains x is to power k plus m minus 1 and this series contains x is to power k plus m minus 1 they all are starting from m is equals to 0 to infinity now taking the series of same power that is x is to power k plus m minus 1 together with these two taking these two together and this is x is to power k plus m this is also x is to power k plus m so taking these two together with we get this expression so from here first we take 3k plus m outside so when we take outside 3k plus m here so remaining term is 3 into k plus m minus 1 and here remaining term is minus 4 k plus m, minus 4 only into cm x s to power k plus m minus 1 and here uh, the, it becomes taking cm x s to power k plus m common remaining term is 9 k plus m k plus m minus 1 minus 4 now further we simplify these expressions so it becomes 3k plus m 3k plus 3m minus 7 and this expression become 3k plus m minus 4 into 3k plus m plus 1 this, uh, in this way we can express this term in this we can factorize this expression in these two factor for that we add 3k plus 1 uh, m and subtract 3k plus m here and it convert into these two factor now we try to write this k plus m into k plus m minus 1 so for that we what we do here we just replace m with m minus 1 when we replace m with m minus 1 it becomes x to the power k plus m minus 1 it becomes c m minus here also we replace m minus 1 so it becomes k plus m minus 1 same time the series which is starting from 0 to infinity when replacing m with m minus 1 the series will start from m is equals to 1 to infinity now so the series will start from m is equals to 1 to infinity but the first series is starting from m is equals to 0 to infinity so if we taking the term when m is equals to 0 outside the remaining the series will ask, will we start from m is equals to 1 to infinity so the first series can be written as first we write for m is equals to 0 it becomes 3k 3k minus 7 c naught x is to power k minus 1 this is the term when m is equals to 0 now the rest of term 
will be start from m is equals to 1 to infinity and this one is second x series now to find the initial equation we will equate the coefficient of lowest power of x equals to 0 here the here the coefficient the power of x is k minus 1 here and here the power of x is k plus m minus 1 and the value lowest value of m is 1 so it becomes x to power k and it becomes x to power k minus 1 this is also x to power k so the lowest power is what x to power k minus 1 so equating the coefficient of x raised to power k minus 1 which is 3k 3k minus 7 c naught equals to 0 we get indicial equation so from this initial equation we will find the value of k which is 0 and 7 by 3 as c naught is non-zero this is assumption we assume when we construct uh, a series solution Both the roots of k are unequal. One is 0, another one is 7 by 3 and their difference is also not an integer quantity. So, what we do here? Now we obtain the recurrence relation. We can obtain the recurrence relation by equating the coefficient of x to power k plus m minus 1 equals to 0. This is an identity and we are to equate the coefficient of uh, different power of x equals to 0 by uh, equating the lowest degree, lowest power of x equals, equals to 0 we get the values of k. Now we will equate the powers of x to power k minus m when m equals to 1 when m equals to 2 it becomes k x to power k plus 1. Now equating the coefficient of different power of x is equals to 0 it means the coefficient of x is to power k plus m minus 1 equals to 0 gives us a, a re recurrence relation with, between c's, different c's. So we get this is equals to 0. So from here we get, we obtain a recurrence relation between cm and cm minus 1th term. It means mth term depends over m minus 1th term cm is equals to 3k plus 3m minus 2 upon 3k plus m cm minus 1 here m starting from 1 to infinity from here we can notice m starting from 1 to infinity so the minimum value of m is here m is equals to 1 so when we put m is equals to 1 we can find the value of c1 c2 c3 so on so c1 is equals to 3k plus 1 upon 3k plus 1 c naught. Now we will put m is equals to 2 it gives us 3k plus 4 upon 3k plus 6 c1. Where c1 is 3k plus 1 upon 3k plus 1 c naught. Putting the value of c1 here we get 3k plus 1 into 3k plus 4 upon taking 3 common outside becomes 3 square k plus 1 k plus 2 c naught so in this way we get c2 similarly we can obtain the value of c3 and c4 so on. now putting the value of c1 c2 c3 in given in assumed solution which is y is equals to x is to power k into c naught plus c1 x plus c2 x square plus c3 x cube plus so on now we will put the value of c1 and c2 here we get this expression and from here taking c0 outside now one by one we will put the value of k first we put the value of k in equation 5 which is k is equals to 0 hence we get y is equals to c0 1 plus 1 by 3x plus 2 by 9x square and so on here we assume c0 as Now we will put the value k is equals to 7 by 3. In that case we assume c naught as b. And when we put k is equals to 7 by 3, it becomes c naught x to power 7 by 3 1 plus 4 by 
5x plus 4 into 11 upon 5 into 13 x square and so on it can be written as b into y b into b sorry a b here b is what c naught another value of c naught plus bv is complete solution y is equal to au plus bv is complete solution where a and b are arbitrary constant so this is first frobenius method when the roots of indicial equations are unequal and they are not differing by integer so in this way we are to find the series solution that's all thank you